Hey guys, another round of Super Rugby, uh, and after last week, we need all the good news we can get. Here we go with our Super Rugby predictions. Let's look at last week. Six out of eight, not a bad return there. Um, not too shabby there. The two I did get wrong. One, nobody saw that that uh, thing coming in Durban, that horrible game. Moment of madness for Andre Estes. And really idiotic stuff. Nobody saw that coming, so that 9 all draw, wow, Robert Dupre is right, give the money back, please. And you might see me standing in front of a wall, but I'm standing under some pecan nut trees. See these, they're pecan nuts, they're falling from above, so they're going to hit me, but that, that's why I didn't get the Kings one. You've got to be nuts to have, have said that one. Well well done, Kings, I'll, I'll be nuts, great. I knew you were going to get a win, I didn't have the guts to back you, and well done for getting it. <laughs> Speaking of nuts, well, you know what? I'm gonna start with the Stormers game. They're playing in the, in Dunedin against the Highlanders. They're targeting this game. I uh, yeah, and uh, some friends of mine, one guy, Craig Gray, has already called a win there for them. Uh, a lot of confidence in this team, despite what happened in Christchurch. So I'm gonna go go wild card yeah, and go for the Stormers, but by two or three points, I think it's gonna be very close. It's gonna be an ugly game, not great. Play ten man rugby, but I think they can win. <laughs> No bulls this week, so then we have to look at the Lions. They start their tour down in Perth. Uh, a relatively easy tour for them. A tricky tour. They should be able to win all the games, but uh, if they take it a bit too easy, the force onto the bad side. Dave Vessel's doing good stuff for that side. They're desperate. They want to stay in the competition. They really want to do well. But I think the Lions are going to win this one by 10 to 15 points. <laughs> The Sharks, well, they go off to Buenos Aires for their sins, uh, a place nobody really likes to visit at the moment. The, the Jaguares really arm wrestle against the Lions and really didn't look great. But it was a test match rugby. They're going to be a bit better in Buenos Aires. It's going to be tough for the Sharks. The Sharks are going to have to play really, really good rugby out there in Buenos Aires. I don't see them winning. I see the Jaguares taking that game by 5 to 10 points. <laughs> For the South African team this weekend, the Kings, fresh off their win, playing the Rebels, the, the horror show in Durban, the other participants. I think the Kings are good enough to beat the Rebels. They should beat the Rebels with a good confidence. Hopefully a great crowd in PE to, to support them. So I'm going to give this to the Rebels, uh, to the Kings, sorry, not the Rebels, to the Kings by seven. <laughs> Oh yes, and then we have the one in Bloemfontein. Franco Smith has been lamenting the fact that his team leads leads games to the 74th minute and really look like they're going to win and then lose it then. They're going to have to put together a hell of a good game to beat the unbeaten Crusaders. Look what they did to the Stormers at home. This isn't at home, it's in Bloemfontein. It should suit the Cheetahs, but the Crusaders are a good, good side. I say the Crusaders are going to win probably it's going to be a competitive game, much closer than people think, but I reckon Crusaders by seven. Then the other games there for the weekend, uh, the, first of all, Chiefs Sunwolves. I think Sunwolves will be competitive. They'll have learned from their two games in New Zealand. Maybe not as big a scoreline as the last couple of weeks, but the Chiefs are still going to beat them by far. I reckon the Chiefs by 20 to 25 points in that game. Uh, give it to them. And then, oh, the game, who knows how to call this one? Reds, Waratahs. Who cares really, but we have to call it as well. So let's say Reds are probably going to do this one. The Waratahs in the world of uh, hurt at the moment. Really, really not doing well. Australian rugby is already down the doldrums. I say the Reds by six. And then if you're really not, uh, if you haven't had enough rugby, on Sunday morning you can get up and watch another game. Should be rather entertaining though. Blues Brumbies. The Brumbies had moments... Thank you. The, the Brumbies had moments of, uh, of, of good times against, uh, against the, who they play? the Hurricanes, yes. Against the Hurricanes last week and really scored three tries in that first half. Looked good, but couldn't maintain the Hurricanes hit back hard in that second half. Blues will have learned from that. They need to win. I'm just going to give this one to the Blues. I don't think Australian rugby is in good nick at all. Blues will take this one, but probably by, by five points. <laughs> Let's
that's it for this week. But just a note to some of you, one of the comments left this week saying, uh, these aren't, my margins aren't ready in the sports betting margins. Remember, this isn't ready for sports betting. This is ready to help you for Super Brew and to help uh, you know, some of the punters out there. I'm rather conservative at times with my margins, and sometimes there's blowouts in games as well. So that's the way I see them. But uh, yeah, feel free. I enjoy the feedback, enjoy listening to you guys. Tell me what you think. Uh, hit the subscribe button and continue watching game videos like this. And thanks, thanks for watching there, guys. Cheers.